Here are the last six gates of the Asan. These gates um, integrate the nun in uh, with Tiferet, Bina, and Hokma, instead of, as we have been doing recently, integrating the nun with the Lamed. Okay, so we're letting go of the Lamed here and doing the final integration of the nun for Yesai. So we have two triangular gates, three quadrangular gates, and one pentangular gate. Now I'm putting six all together here at once. I know that's a lot for one video, but we'll go through them fairly quickly. Because next video, I have something very special for you. So, the first triangle, we start from Gebura, go down via the path of Nun, that self-determination, into Yesod, and then we come straight up the path of Resh into Tiferet, okay? And then we take the path of Virgo down to Gebura, and then back around. So, <clears throat> this, of course, integrates that self-determination with Tiferet. And this is an important integration here, to integrate that with the uh, solitary self, that self-determination, okay? <clears throat> the next path, the next gate is a quadrangle, and it's very similar. We start in Gebura, follow the path of Nun down to Yesod, the path of Resh up to Tiferet, and then the path of Cheth up to Bina, okay? And then Bina down to Gebura, and then back around. So, <clears throat> this also integrates Tiferet, but draws on Bina. This introduces Bina to the equation here. So it's combination of the uh, solitary self and the greater self, in, you know, uh, directing this self-determination within Yesod. Okay? This is very important. Now the third gate is the last triangle, and <clears throat> this is where we integrate uh, Nun with Bina. So we start in Ge Gebura, follow Nun down to, to Yesod, and then take that hidden path directly up to Bina, okay? And then Daleth down to Gebura, <clears throat> and then back around, okay? So this integrates <clears throat> That, that push from Gibura into Yesod of self-determination puts it in the context of Bina, of one's greater self, of the realm of greater selves. Puts that into context and really shows how that comes from this higher level of self, that will to self-determination. The fourth gate <clears throat> is a quadrangle. And now we are going to be integrating with uh, Hokma. Okay? So <clears throat> we start Gebura, Nun down to Yesod, that hidden path directly up to Hokma. Okay? And then. <clears throat> Shin over to Bina and Daleth down into Gibura and then back around. Okay? So here the, the major importance is this uh, <clears throat> we're taking in Hakma into this Bina into uh, uh, Gibura into Yesod, you know, dynamic. 
the strength of that self-determination comes from Bina, really, but it involves Hakma. Okay. Okay, the fifth gate is also a quadrangle. And now we are going to be involving Kether in the mix, okay? So it starts from Gabura, follows the path of Nun into Yesod, and then takes that quick, straight journey up the hidden path to Hokma, up the path of He to Kether, and then straight down from Kether to Gabura. And then back around. Okay? Now, the really important part of, of this gate is that descent from Kether into Gabura. <sighs> Again, pointing out how much the higher levels of awareness how important it is, this factor of self-determination, just how important that is for the final manifestation, okay, for the full self-realization of the I, must incorporate self-determination, okay? The sixth gate is uh, the pentangle. And this, again, well, it involves the three supernals in the self-determination. It sort of balances it all out here. So it starts from Gebura, again, passes down the path of Nun into Yesod, straight up that hidden path into Hakma, up the path of He to Kether, down the path of Vav to Bina, and down the path of Daleth into Gebura, okay? And then back around, okay? Now, the most important part of the ga this gate is that final descent from Bina into Gebura, because it's bringing with it Hokma, Kether, and Bina into Gebura and the self-determination that fills Yesa. Okay. So, <clears throat> those are all the gates of Yesa. Now, next video is going to be a special, it's not, a, you know, strictly speaking, a gate, but we are going to approach it like a gate, and we'll, we'll discuss different techniques, in this case, of how to work the gates. Okay. So, till then.